SmackDown opened with the arrival of a black car, with everybody assuming that the bloodline was inside. From the vehicle emerged Solo Seiko, Tom DeLo, and Tama Tonga, all while the wise man, Paul Heyman, was waiting for them. Heyman asked about the status of Jacob Fatu, and not answering, Solo would take his fellow bloodline members to the entrance ramp. But it didn't take long for Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, and Randy Orton to come out and begin a massive brawl. The fight ended with Tom DeLo going through a table courtesy of the prize fighter. General Manager Nick Aldis had a whole team of security rush out ringside to prevent the brawl from escalating. But after one of the security members got RKO'd by Orson, things got chaotic. It took the force of the New York Police Department to calm the situation, with Cody Rhodes and company finally heading backstage and leaving the arena, escorted by the NYPD. Paul Heyman's question about Jacob Fatu remained unanswered as Solo and Co. retreated to prevent any further damage ahead of their big six-man tag team match at Money in the Bank next week. Backstage on SmackDown, Heyman went to Solo and begged him to allow him to be his wise man the same way he has been to Roman Reigns. Solo Seco, in a calm moment, said that he followed Heyman's advice and revealed that Jacob Fatu was not at Madison Square Garden. In the main event, Solo Siko comes out alongside Tama Tonga, Tonga Lo, and Paul Heyman. Solo says before we get to that, he'll introduce the newest member of the bloodline, the Samoan Werewolf, and its enforcer, Jacob Fatu. Siko then asks Jacob Fatu to acknowledge him. Fatu acknowledges Solo in a fired-up brief promo. Lastly, Solo confronts Paul Heyman. Solo brings out the Ula Fala and demands Paul Heyman acknowledge him as his tribal chief. Solo bows to receive it, and Heyman looks mortified. Paul says he loves Solo and acknowledges that he is no T his tribal chief to a massive pop. Solo responded by giving Heyman the summon spike. The bloodline then gave Heyman a shield-style powerbomb through the announce table. The crowd chanted F you Solo as SmackDown went off the air. So what are your thoughts on Solo attacking Paul Heyman? Let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we will see you in the next one.